And of course, it's time for us to look at what's trending around the continent, especially in the social media space. We have none other than Elizabeth Musa joining us. Good morning, Liz. Very good morning to you, Olive and Otaroge. Hi, Liz. You guys they really did gang up on me uh, today. What did they you say know, about great just, minds? Uh, <laughs> I think I like. <laughs> it was just Iron Blessings who, you know, pulled off a blue together. You know, oh, that's you're true. Doing green. Oh, okay. so you're, you're not missing out at the end of the day. At um, least you have someone who's matching with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Just the French shades of blue. Actually, blue. Um, um, Joe is also um, on blue today. So. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. we've been outnumbered. <laughs> There's some balance. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. What's going on uh, on Trendwave? Okay. Uh, Today on Trendway, former Nigerian lawmaker Dino Melaye and former aviation minister Femi Fani Kayode uh, are currently so trending on the social media space after these two politicians took to the social media space to use kids to tackle each other. The trolling started when Femi Fani Kayode posted an old picture of Dino Melaye drinking Gary. Reacting to the post, Dino made a video where he was seen inviting Femi Fani Kayode to dinner. We'll watch this video right now. Yes, sir. Uh, please, I'll go. Right. No, that's all. We just came to appeal to you to please invite uh, FFK for a dinner. For a dinner. For a dinner, please. Just one night. Just one night. Just for one night. Me invite FFK for a dinner. Oh, yes. Yes, no, just no, no, no. Please. I'm not going to backroll anybody. No, no, no. Just no, no, no. no, no, no. I'm not going to no, just no, no, I'm not going to backroll anybody. I'm not going to. sir. Security. Good evening. Now, a few hours later, Femi Fani Kayode made his own skit, which we're about to watch, where he said he had a security aide pretend that Dino Melaye was requesting audience with him. Let's take a look at that video. Good evening, sir. Security. Yes, sir. Good evening. How's it? Hi, sir. Okay. Any problem? Yes, sir. Sir, there's a gentleman. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Name? Sir, it's Dino Melaye, sir. Do you know Melai? Yes, sir. But there's a sign at the gate. You know this. Yes, sir. And what does the sign say? No lepers, no stray dogs, no pigs, no ill-bred country bumpkins, no desperate clowns, and no gutter snipes. So you know very well that creatures like that cannot enter my space or my property or my house. You know this. Yes, sir. So um, please, um, you know, just find something for him and let him go. Okay, yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And, 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 and as he's going, or anybody approaching, be careful. He has a particular weakness. Uh, when it comes to men's backsides. Okay, so be careful that he doesn't violate you in any way. Well, those are very strong words. And this comes just a, just a few days after the two of them engaged in a war of words, especially with the PDP, ongoing PDP crisis. Now, this has led to several reactions on the social media street. We'll take a few of them now before we move to our next story. Now, that one is from Tall John. It says, Dino Melaya's acting skills are improving Femi Fani Kayode will be a great director. World of Clowns. Then we'll take another reaction from Nefertiti. She says investor Sabinus should feature Dino Melaye and Femi Fani Kayode. Both skip makers have something huge and there is a clown smiley. Ogabode says comic relief is good sometimes though. Life no supposed too hard. And then we will take a last reaction from Olua Timileng. He says, Dino Melaye and Feni Fanikaide have given credence to the fact that governance in Nigeria is not serious business. The theatrical skill of both Dino, FFK and Wike can best be de deployed in the Nollywood industry. It is not too appropriate for politics and leadership. Well, that's how people are reacting to this story. Obviously, we see that many Nigerians think of it a bit lighthearted. They're not taking it too seriously, but that is how these two politicians have decided to, you know what, fight, do, the, do, uh, battle, do their battles with skits. And we'll move on now to the musical scene where Bonaboy has grabbed attention for his powerful response to online critics in which he named his rivals Whiskey and Davido. As seen on Twitter, uh, Bonaboy goes on a hyping spree for his fourth studio album, African Giant, as a boast of his achievements so far through the album. A Twitter troll told Bonner that it does not have the most certified album nor the best selling album in the world as it belongs to Whiskey. Now Bonner went on to answer the troll by telling him to come get his credentials and present them to Whiskey if he thinks that it is. Now the second troll entered the conversation and questioned whether Bonner would continue to refer to Whiskey as his friend after subscribing to him and already riled up Bonner said if Wheezy was not his friend he would have banged him right in the face on sight. He also maintained that he would have done that to show that sweeps that he is not to be joked with and neither is he 
Davido. Now that is what is trending. Obviously, Bonner Boy is he went on to delete this tweet, but already people had screen grabbed this particular tweet um, before he went on to delete it. But we'll take, we'll take a look at some of the reactions that people have made on social media. Now that one is from Buchi Laba. Buchi Laba says, Bonner tweeted that about whiskey. Nah, too bad. It's so bad. How can you be having issues with this fan base and you take it so personal? Even if you're a fan of Bonner, there is no way you can defend this behavior. It's too aggressive and not necessary. And uh, this behavior is quite consistent with Bonner Boy. And that one is from Larry. Larry says, Bonner Boy's friendship with Whiskey is too toxic and a big red flag. The sooner Whiskey cuts him off, the better. That's how Asiwaju Larry feels about this story. That one's from Dart Part. It says, sometimes it's best to ignore these fans. They do way too much. And um, that one is from Champion. Champion says, it doesn't cost Whiskey anything to caution his fans. Toxic FC are moving and Whiskey isn't saying anything about it. All he does is post Eagle on his Instagram story. First it was Davido and now it's Bonner. But Whiskey will act like, say, he knows Siam. But he went on to repost Kanye. Well, people are of the opinion that, you know what, Whiskey is always quiet about these things. And you know what they say about silence can be complicity. So people think, oh, you know what, if this guy is always quiet about it, then perhaps he is a part of it or he always sends these people to this. But Osa and Olive, I want to hear what you think about the stories uh which of them now um I mean, there's only one i want to comment on yeah well for i mean for dino Malai and uh fan fme fan coyote it's a, i mean to me it's a, I, i'm seeing those things you know and you know because of maybe because of my age and all of that i just feel like see that's very, very embarrassing um you know because these are people who represent the political parties that are vying to of course lead nigeria for the next uh, four maybe eight years um, but of course, it's political season. You, you would expect drama. You have different sorts to emerge every now and then. And of course, uh, with the availability of social media, they you know would show themselves. It just really tells you know their character. You know, the, it tells more about the characters of these two those two persons. I, I, I and that's the story I really want to talk about. I just Oselgi has just rightly put forward my thoughts. Is it really necessary? It just feels like they have so much time on their hands. One would think that they would have... I mean, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I know it's meant to be light-hearted and all, but it's not really necessary. Dino Melaye, we know, is fond of doing stuff like this. Every now and then, he's releasing a single on social media. But I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how I feel about both of them. And that's really all the story I want to comment on. Uh, the Banner Boy one... I For Burner Boy, I'm not shocked. I'm, and I don't think anyone should be surprised these days. Um, I feel, you know, and this might be a very unpopular opinion, that um, people need to understand that these people, these artists are human. You know, every now and then we might call out Bonaboy and say, oh, you know, you should be able to ignore, you know, but they're still human, you know, and it's not all, all the time human. that he, he would ignore. Not everybody would be whiskey that would completely ignore trolls and all that. Once in a while, you know, your true personality will, you know, break Come and out. you will, you know, you would re respond to some of these people. It was quite vulnerable um, of him to, to share that. I mean, he, yeah. he I mean, came straight out of prison and then he's living the life of his dreams with his music. Bruno is who he say, says he is. He never hides I agree you know, his with personality. You, you know, oh, Sarah Gay. But you know, what, you know one thing people have said? People have said something like, you know what, you know when two friends, come, two people come together, against somebody two friendships start um, two people start a friendship just because they are against somebody so people have claimed that you know what they uh whiskey and burner are probably having this friendship because of their you know sort Not of competition that, with that's that's for, that's that's you know someone else's imagination you know they might really be real guys it's it's nothing um my point is they're human wiz has you know shown himself to be that person that would never respond to trolls <laughs> Except on the day that he chooses to. I remember when he had the fight with Lindy KG and he completely wrecked, um, you know, her back He went too low, ago. though, for that. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, yeah. that, but that over time he has shown that's the kind of person he is. But on the other hand, has shown, you know, that well, every now and then I might be bored and I want to reply trolls. And we shouldn't, you know, make it seem like he's done the unthinkable by replying trolls. I should just allow them be. Three I really wish they can just celebrate all these people without exactly having what to I was just about to say. They are all superstars. We can yeah. allow them just to be. They're all great. Absolutely. We don't have to keep comparing them with each other or, you know, forming teams and alliances. Everything doesn't have to be a ship. Let's allow them be. Just give us good music, entertain, and live their dreams. Um, thank right. you so much, Liz, for joining us this morning on Breakfast Central. It's Always my great pleasure. to have you.